Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. Now, Terry, what is this? A New York Central rail car? On your layout set in far eastern Ontario, Canada? Well, let me explain. So here we are in Embrun, Ambrun, Embrun in English, 20 minutes from my house in Castleman. We are in far eastern Ontario. And this, right along here, that is now a trail, bike trail and whatnot, was a New York Central Railway line running all the way to Ottawa, Canada's national capital, where they had a rail yard. My friend John Lazar is an expert on the New York Central. I thought I knew so much about Canadian railways. I have tons of books I've read over my whole life about railways in Canada. And until I moved here, I did not know that the New York Central ran a line through here until 1957. And the station behind me is the New York Central Railway Station. It's a mostly French community. This part of Far Eastern Ontario, which is near Quebec, is mostly French. And here's the railway station. Yeah, this should be open. Look at that. Look at the woodwork. Yeah. Here you go, John. John Lazar, this is for you. This video's for you, buddy. Look at that New York Central Railway Station. Closed when it was still the New York Central. There you go. Look at the desk. It's so nice. Yeah, it'd be cool if this was open. That's nice, yeah. Here we are on the New York Central Recreational Trail. Now imagine up until 1957 through here, New York Central freight and passenger trains. So this means, once I learned this, my fictional Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario just had to have some New York Central equipment because it does connect with the main lines of the area in my fictional railway. So here we are, still in the same town, and we have New York Central Avenue. And on New York Central Avenue is uh, ambulance station down there is the Ontario Provincial Police. But you gotta wonder what industry was along here served by that railway at one point. So here we are on the main street of the town, the older part of town, and this is a New York Central Depot, a tiny depot that somebody moved here years and years ago. They put it on a little basement and they made it a small home. So there you go, an example of an actual tiny New York Central Railway Depot. Well, you know, I got a show you a few more things so we'll we drove 20 minutes from Embrun we're here in Ottawa now and we're about to go to the location of the New York Central Railway train yard and we drove on the way here we drove through the most intense rainstorm and right now it's in the middle of the afternoon but it looks like it's dark because there's this heavy overcast and our phones just buzzed with an emergency imminent tornado warning so there you go. But we're gonna brave that. <laughs> What's life without a bit of excitement? We've just passed through some epic weather uh, and it was pretty intense, but here we are. And this whole mall complex is the Ottawa train yards. And if you look at that, you'll see that that is a New York Central locomotive or at least an image of a New York Central locomotive. And this whole big complex goes way over there. This whole big complex was once the rail yard. We're standing on the former rail yard of the New York Central here in Ottawa.
So this is why I'm going to have some New York Central equipment on my fictional Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. This represents the first use of this new to me tank car on this layout. Now the Friar is here, of course, at his favorite train watching location here at Whitson Bridge. Now he has a vow of silence, but he did hand me a note expressing how delighted he was to see some new equipment. Oh, Henry, how exciting to see a New York Central tank car. I know what you mean, Marge, yes. Yes, I know what you mean, and it's first delivery to the tank farm. I hope you've enjoyed some of the actual history of the New York Central here and a little bit of my large-scale model railroad.